Today, we are going to be designing art galleries. Our art galleries will be inspired by The Bedroom by Vincent Van Gogh. Van Gogh used a method called one-point perspective to create a 3D room. In one-point perspective, all of your lines will meet back at a single vanishing point. You can see his is near the window. After you draw your art gallery, you can add original paintings or you can recreate famous paintings that you like. Another fun idea I found online would be to cut out images from magazines to arrange as the artwork in your gallery. For this project, you will need a sheet of paper, a ruler, and scissors to start. The first thing we need to do is turn our paper into a square. Do this by grabbing one corner of your paper and folding it up to create a triangle. Once you have your edges lined up, you are going to be creasing your paper so press down. We will use this crease to help create our lines in our drawing. The excess paper you are going to cut off with your scissors. Once you finish cutting, you can recycle that small strip of paper or turn it into a bookmark. Now we're going to unfold our triangle and we are going to take the opposite corner and we are going to fold it up to create another triangle. Your goal will be to create an X on your paper through your folds. And there is the X. For the next step, you will need a pencil and a ruler. Now we need to create a square that will become the back wall of the art gallery. Each side of your square should fit within the triangle segments. So for my first line, I'm going to keep it within those two lines that create that side triangle. If you make it close to the center point, then your room will look a lot longer. Always double check your ruler and make sure your lines are straight. And there we go, we have our square. Once your square is in place, we are going to be drawing lines along the second half of the creases. So start at the corner of your box, line up your ruler, and follow along the crease in the paper and draw a line. We're going to do this on all four corners. So start at the corner and draw a line along the crease. And there we go, our 3D room is set up and ready for artwork. Now we're going to create the canvases on the walls. Start by creating a vertical line. You can make your paintings big or small, it's your choice. Now create a small dot in the center. This is your vanishing point. You are going to connect the bottom and the top point towards the vanishing point here. So I'm going to line up my ruler, double check it's lined up, and then you are going to begin drawing your line. You can go all the way or you can go part way so you don't have as much to erase. So I'm going part way and I am stopping before I get to the edge of the wall. Do the same thing on the top. Now we are going to need to draw in a vertical line that is parallel with our first line. So line up your ruler, slide it over, and create a vertical line. It's okay if they don't connect perfectly. You're going to erase any extra once you finish creating that line. One canvas is done. I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other wall. Now it's time
time for the fun part, adding details to your gallery. We have the ceiling and the floor to work on. I'm going to add a fancy light hanging from the top of the ceiling. You can get creative. Maybe you have a sculpture hanging from the ceiling. Completely your choice what's up there. Maybe there's a sunroof. Get creative. On the floor, I'm going to be creating a sculpture and a bench. For the sculpture, I'm going to create a cylinder shaped um, pedestal for the sculpture to sit on. So do this by drawing an oval. Then draw two vertical lines coming down on the side and then draw a semicircle for the bottom. Erase the back wall because you can't see through this and then add your sculpture to the top. Please remember that all of these extra details are completely optional so you can arrange your gallery however you'd like. Don't forget you can also cut images out of a magazine if that's what you want to do. The bench here is a little bit complex, so watch carefully if it's something you're interested in. To create the bench, you're going to start by creating a rectangle or a square shape. If you want to, you can add little feet to the bottom of your bench as well. Now for the tricky part. You are going to be connecting the corners of your bench to the vanishing point. So line up the corner with the vanishing point and draw in a line segment. I would recommend stopping before you hit that line of the back wall. It makes it a lot easier. Once your lines are lined up towards the vanishing point, you're going to create some parallel lines. So line up with the side of your bench, slide your ruler up, and draw in a line. You'll probably have a little extra and that's okay, you can erase those parts. Now we need to repeat the same thing but this time on the side of the bench. So line up your ruler, make sure it's vertical and stays parallel, drag out your ruler and draw in that line. Remember, you can erase any extra lines and then there we go, we have our 3D bench. I decided to add one more painting on the back wall of the gallery. You could turn this into a door, a window, but I want to create a third painting. This is completely optional, but I recommend outlining in Sharpie if you plan to use watercolors. For the back painting, I decided to create one of my favorite famous paintings, The Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. This is a great project to use a wide variety of art materials. I'm going to use watercolors on the painting over here, and on the other painting I'm going to use some chalk pastels, so play around with any materials you have at your house.
hope you have fun designing your own art gallery in one point perspective. I cannot wait to see what you post on the Padlet. Have fun.